what is an IP address? Well, the simplest way to think of an IP address is to treat it like an internet phone number. Just like how every phone in the network has a unique phone number, every computer on the internet has a unique internet number or IP address. And this allows every other computer on the internet to communicate with it. But what does an IP address look like? Well, just like everything else in the digital world, an IP address is comprised of digits, specifically binary digits or bits. A bit can have a value of either 1 or 0, so in effect an IP address is a long string of 32 ones or zeros. But hang on a minute, aren't IP addresses denoted by four numbers and dots? Yes they are. You see, while computers deal with ones and zeros, as humans prefer regular decimal digits from 0 to 9. So computer geeks the world over decided to invent the octet system, where the string of 32 bits is divided into 4 octets, and each octet is 8 bits long. An 8-bit number can have a value from 0 to 255, and we separate each octet with a dot. So IP addresses in the octet system can range from 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255 and so on. The octet system, though, is a simpler way to represent a 32-bit number. Underneath it all, IP addresses are nothing more than internet phone numbers that allow computers on the internet to communicate with each other. A 32-bit number is actually quite big. In fact, 32-bit IP addresses can be used to uniquely identify more than 4 billion computers. But the internet is so popular, even that isn't enough. So we've modified the network by using NAT in some areas and fixed the problem completely by using IPv6, both of which we'll cover in future videos. So just to recap, an IP address is a 32-bit number that acts as your internet phone number that allows other computers on the internet to talk to you.